still on the nostalgia credit guy, remember it, so you don't have to. I don't know about you, but growing up, opening credits were both the worst and the coolest part of the movie. You know how before a movie starts you see trailers for other films? They're supposed to get you hyped up and excited for what you're about to see in the future? In some situations, that's what the opening credits were. They were short hype vehicles to get you excited for what you were going to see. Some were short, some were long, but most of the time they were a good indicator of what you were about to experience. But recently, opening credits have become kind of a dying art. Most films nowadays only show the title, hell, sometimes not even that, just throwing you into the movie without any excitement or buildup of what you're about to see. I remember getting the chills watching the opening of Batman with that awesome Danny Elfman music. I still marvel at the artistry and imagination of the James Bond openings. Heck, they would parody them in other movies and shows they were so well known. But in recent years, movies have been doing this less and less, still resulting in strong openings, but no real introductions. Which got me asking the unfortunate question, do opening credits suck now? Well, first off, it's important to know that films haven't always been this way. In the beginning, credits were given very little attention, only listing the title, main actors, and a couple people who made it. At first, they were not a big deal. But as movies became more and more popular, it made sense to give more and more people credit, which made them a lot longer. Remember in the old days, end credits were only saying the end on a title card. Most of the important stuff was shown in the opening, similar to a program they'd give you at a play, which is kind of what films were seen as for a while, cinematic plays. So much so that some movies even had overtures before the movie started. Oh, what better time to give credit than over the music from the awesomeness you're about to see. So soon the overture was combined with the opening credits getting you excited not only for the music you're about to hear, but the hard work all of these people put in to tell you an epic story. But turning the pages literally like a program was starting to become a little dry. So filmmakers started to add a little bit more excitement. Suddenly, there were pictures, animations, hints of what you were about to see. After a while, the opening credits were becoming an art unto themselves. In fact, there were even people who made a living creating opening titles. Probably the best known is Sal Bass, the genius behind It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, Spartacus, and several Hitchcock and Scorsese films. Now don't get me wrong, some films still had little to no opening credits at the time, or if they did, they didn't always utilize the artistry of them. Films like Breakfast Club just show their credits against a black backdrop. How's that supposed to get you excited? Some films would do half and half. As much as I make fun of Batman and Robin, it is still visually interesting. Super ridiculous to say the least, but still visually interesting. And the opening titles do a good job getting you hyped up. The music, the visuals, the sound effects, it's surprisingly not half bad. But then after the title appears, they're shoehorned into the corner. And all while people are saying dialogue related to the story. It's super distracting, but at least we did have a little bit of the cool titles. So you see, while not every movie used credits as an artistic hype train, many of them did. But then things started to change when a little movie called Lion King came out. It had one of the most amazing openings of all time, singing about the circle of life and displaying its title with a thunderous boom. In fitting with the film's theme, the movie also ended with the title and a thunderous boom, cleverly matching the idea of the circle. Sadly, though, other films said, hey, we want to seem that important. So whether it matched the movie's style or not, filmmakers started putting the title at the end. Because we're so damn big and epic, we don't have time for opening credits. We just want to throw you in there. Yeah, that's awesome. Because of this, credit intros became less and less, showing only the title in the opening or even saving that for the end. Obviously, trying to give the audience a point to applaud. Because think about it, if you applauded at the end, that must have meant you had a good time, right? Pay us money to come back and see it again. This led more and more to opening credits becoming extinct. Seemingly, no more will epic themes play immediately connected to the film's identity. No more will clever visuals excite you with what you're about to see without giving too much away. Now it's just the title, and the film starts, destroying so much of the movie's build-up. However, there is a different alternative that's been popping up. Many movies are now doing the big epic credit sequences at the end of the film. Movies like The Incredibles, 300, and several of the Marvel films put a surprisingly large amount of effort into making the last thing you see energized and impressive. In some respect, this does kind of make sense. I mean, why split up the credits into two when you can lump them all together? People also don't have to wait for the movie to start, and you don't have to worry about spoilers. You've already seen it, nothing's gonna be given away. It's kind of like a best of reel, 
Like, remember in the 80s how they would show you stills from the movie you just saw, trying to remind you of the good times you literally just witnessed? This is kind of the same thing. Yeah, remember Dash running on water? Remember Violet stopping the bullets? That was cool. This was a fun movie. Even bad films like Mummy 3 can almost have you looking back with fondness. Yeah, those yetis coming down the mountain were badass. Wait, no they weren't, that sucked. But you almost got me there, movie, good for you. On top of that, some films nowadays have extra endings with the credits. In fact, both Marvel and DC usually throw in two, one at the end and one halfway through. So people aren't always walking out during the credits, sometimes they're staying while great artistry is being displayed. So, maybe this makes a little bit more sense. Why not go out on a high note after your movie is over? Doesn't it add up more to convince them at the end what a good movie this is as opposed to the opening? Well, there's pros and cons to this. The biggest one being people do leave. Franco Seffirelli found this out in 1968 with Romeo and Juliet. During the end credits, he chose to have the family seemingly reconcile while going into the church. That's a huge plot point. But not only are people exiting the theater by this point, but the credits are blocking half their reactions. A lot of animes do this too. Movies like Only Yesterday and Arietti still keep the story going even after the end credits are rolling. What an odd choice. People think the film is over and they're gonna miss what actually happens at the end. On top of that, having cool stuff during the credits at the beginning of the film just enhances the rewatchability. Every time Bed Knobs and Broomstick starts up, I get excited. Yeah, look at all that cool stuff I'm about to see again. Listen to all that amazing music. Which is battling Nazis. Hell yeah! Imagine if Superman opened the same way as Man of Steel. No titles, no credits, just starting. How does that get you hyped up? It's nothing. The Superman movie, on the other hand, look at this! The credits are whizzing by, you're traveling through space, the music is practically singing his name. is the opening Superman deserves. Good title sequences can even lead to great scenes in bad movies. I, like a lot of people, wasn't a fan of Mars Attacks, but holy smokes, the introduction's amazing. All the spaceships surrounding the Earth with both the goofiest and most threatening march playing over it. I went out and bought the soundtrack to this movie. Again, the soundtrack to a film I didn't like. I probably wouldn't have even noticed the music if it wasn't for this introduction. Lord of War got mixed reviews, but everyone agrees the opening is phenomenal. Following a bullet from its construction to being shot is profoundly disturbing. A part of the movie some filmmakers are trying to skip can actually be the best part of the movie. And it never would have happened if you just wanted to start the flick with no credits. Here's the thing, you know how a lot of people say the film isn't as good as the trailer? Well, this is your chance to have the trailer inside the film. They get you pumped up, excited, and give an imaginative take on the movie that often wouldn't be allowed anywhere else in the film. There's no scenes in James Bond that would call for trippy models flying through the air or shooting guns out of their mouths. But imagery like this is now ingrained with Bond's identity, as well as that famously stylized scene of him turning and shooting. These are so famous they're used to help create other films' identities. And none of that would have existed if we just said, eh, can't we just start the movie? Opening powerhouses like 2001, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Vertigo would lose a huge part of their identity if this mindset kept going. But the good news is, it's not entirely extinct yet. In fact, comic book movies, the genre you could argue is moving cool title sequences to the end, also still have some memorable ones today. Watchmen is beautifully dark and poetic, Guardians of the Galaxy is perfectly strange and bizarre, and Deadpool might take the cake for the most hilarious opening title sequence in years, both satirizing and paying homage to its artistic importance. I guess what I'm trying to say is, not every movie has to have amazing opening credits, but we deserve enough variety that many of them can still exist. Granted, there's great ending title sequences, and there's dull opening title sequences. But the idea that opening credits should be gotten rid of because they take too much time away is missing a huge part of the film's identity. Can you imagine James Bond, Batman, or Deadpool without their opening credits? They're an important piece of the impact a movie can have on you, and phasing them out to save time can steal away some really amazing filmmaking. So the next time you watch an opening credit sequence wondering when the movie's gonna start, consider the possibility that it already has. 
Opening titles are amazing if done right, and can continue to be so if we see their importance. We're not at the point yet where opening credits necessarily suck, as there's still a few out there who know how to start a show. But at the same time, we shouldn't encourage ourselves to get to that point either. If leaving a first impression is as important as they say, then this is a concept that should definitely keep going strong. I'm a nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to. Hey guys, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out. Usually at this point I cut to a video uh, giving you an idea of what this charity is about, but this time we really don't need video because you have already seen plenty of video if you watch the news at all. And this is the Houston Flood Relief Fund. Uh, if you've been keeping up, you know the awful things are happening in Houston right now and there are still so many people that need help. Uh, this is a really good organization. They've already raised a fair amount of money, but Really, there are so many people still in need and still homeless and just need so much help. So even if you've already donated to uh, Red Cross or another charity, please consider giving to this one too. I know so many good people in Houston and man, they don't deserve this. So please definitely click on the link. See if even the tiniest bit you can give a little bit more because... Uh, it's if you've seen any videos any photographs you know what an awful time they're going through so please definitely click on the link and open up your heart and give these people something to hope for because they really don't deserve this thanks again